310 the trip nearly there racing Starry Baxter missed it. Wymax Chef, one of the best out from Starry Baxter Machine Man. Lucky Sunday Uncle Jock. Uh, then came behind those Corborn Excite, Smash Mate and Gold Star Gizmo. And uh, Corborn Excite goes to the back of the field. Uh, about to swing in Starry Baxter. Wymax Chef there, the two. Starry Baxter. Starry Baxter beats Wymax Chef. Uh, Machine Man. Uh, now Corborn Excite might have got up and grabbed fourth money there. A uh, smash mate on the inside. Behind those came Uncle Jock and Corborn Gizmo and Lucky Sunday, and they are the last three to go. Bye. <music> Round the bed, set, racing. Uh, rookie racer out well. Hello, it's me. Came out better. Uh, running up on the outside then to Pipe Dream and getting around those a little wider out on the track then as Bond's falling. It's going to be followed by uh, get, trying to get around the outside as Wymax say donation up on the inside of those. Then hello, it's me who's drifted. Uh, Rookie Racer got the chop on the bend. It's out the back with Homebush Edge. About to run off the back now. It is Pipe Dreamer and Bombs falling the two leaders. Sater Nation comes after those. They turn the corner. Pipe Dream on top. Trying hard. Bombs falling. Pipe Dream. Bombs falling. Sater Nation. Wymac is the fourth one over. Uh, then came Opawa Sledge back behind those. Hello, it's me. And the two that got chopped out on the first bend uh, were Homebush Edge and Rookie Racer. Nearly there, racing. Uh, out best here was Mitchell Dean on the outside, but Botany Cole quickly regains the lead, trying to follow it through was Minder. Wider out then is Knock a few back in behind those to Storm and Mac along the fence. The back runners here are definite and Opawa Crusade. Botany Cole, no worries. Botany Cole will beat Knock a few back. Storm and Mac got into third, just in front of Princely Money. Opawa Crusade, definite behind those. Then came Minder, and out the back was Mitchell Dean. He's last in after jumping first out. <laughs> Nearly there, racing. Avalon City came out the best, has the lead. Gold Star Dodge goes after it up on the inside. Opawa Minstrel. Then Opawa Alex trying to get around the outside. Uh, Deborah Bay copped a bit, so did Opawa Ash. They went out the back door. Back there with them is Draxler and Gold Star T. Pook. They run down the back at Avalon City. Has about four lengths to spare on a chasing Opawa Alex. The outside's now three lengths away in closing. In behind those to Draxler and Gold Star Dodger running on. They're about to swing in here. Avalanche City. Opawa Alex is trying hard. And look at Draxler. Motor up in the middle. I think Draxler's beaten Avalanche City. Opawa Alex. They get behind them. Opawa Minstrel. Uh, then on the outside to Deborah Bay. Following those to Gold Star Dodge. Gold Star T. Pook and Opawa Ash. there racing gold star jagger came out well so did homebush kip who hits the lead way around the track opawa richie goes forward fair pepper runs third oh a bit of a check there to gold star phelps so power janet they go to the back of the field and a power chevy is back there with them they uh, run down the back and homebush kip in front coming after it fair pepper and opawa richie closing on those lucia star and the next one, the only other run of the chance is Gold Star Jagger. They're about to turn the corner for home and Fair Pippa hit the front, pulls away. Fair Pippa's off and gone. Uh, Fair Pippa, Lucia Star, Opawa Ritchie making big ground was Opawa Cheviot. Gold Star Jagger on the outside of those. Uh, back behind them to Homebush Skip, Gold Star Phelps and Opawa Janet. Off. So she missed it at Power Judy by a mile. 
Vikings one of the best out driving up on the inside Sergio Destroy Ropa was Shea to the outside of those and then came Dan Blueblood wide on the turn we're in Heritage Watch and gentlemen Tim they're out of business just up in front of those to Gold Star Junior and Opawa Judy. They run down the back and Vikings is about six lengths in front. Heading the chase after it, Sergio Destroyer and Opawa Shea. And back behind those to Dan Blue Blood. That's the race, but Vikings has got this all wrapped up. No worries, six lengths in front, bolts him. Sergio Destroyer, Opawa Shea. Dan Blue Blood might be third. Gentleman Tim was coming after it on the outside. Opawa Judy was next in. Gold Star Junior and Heritage watched the last three to go by. in the two-lid set racing at OK 20 Blake the beast to begin out after it is translator coming forward on the outside Opawa Penny Ozark's watch trying to make ground in the middle uh, Miss Blue Sky was shunted wide on the bend uh, it goes to the back of the field Ozark's watch is back there with it and up ahead of those to no Tinkerbell uh, down the back they run Trendy Blake Opawa Penny gives chase favourites back to fourth uh, to fourth running in third place is Opawa Millie now the favourite gets going translator might be too late homeward bound Trendy Blake He's out and after them, Translator, Trendy Blake, Translator, got him. Translator, Trendy Blake, thirds of photo between No Tinkerbell and Opawa Penny. In behind those, the next would have been Miss Blue Sky. Back behind those, Opawa Millie and Gold Star Miley and Ozark's watch was last in. One. Racing, Mr. Nibet Depic Dream, Birdie T out wide, one of the best out for you. Marina goes out with it, right with those, Alex Rumble. In behind them, the Gold Star Scooter. Back behind those, then is Epic Dream for the back behind them is Maker's Mark. They're out the back, these and no power. Opal is back last. Birdie T, Birdie T is going to beat for you, Marina. Third Gold Star Scooter, just I think from over the outside of it, Epic Noxie. Opawa Opal was up close, back behind those. The next to go by is going to be Alex Rumble. And the last two of Makers Marcus towards the back of the field with uh, Rocket Jewel, I think, was back there with it. <laughs> Set racing. Homebush Shane away well, missing it was Opawa Crystal out the back door. Homebush Flame shot to the front. Coming after it here is no scrutiny back on the inside of those then is Homebush Shane getting around them a little wider out to where's the gold. The rest are headed by Opawa Lean Meat. Up they come here, no scrutiny. After it, Homebush Flame, no scrutiny. Homebush Flame, thirds of photo. Homebush Shane, where's the gold? Back behind those then is Opawa Lean Meat. Uh, running beside that to Opawa Idol. The last two to go by, no bro well back. And Opawa Crystal missed the get go and is the last one to go by. <music> Opawa Wahimo the inside. We're set, ready, racing. Out best came Lagoon Bell. It goes out in front of the racer who gives chase. Then Opawa Wahimo drives up on the inside. Opawa Anthony's behind those. A little wider out. Corborn still in Kiwi Breeze. And is threading some way to Opawa Peaches out the back door. Down the back goes Lagoon Bell. Has three links to spare on a chasing Corborn Steel. Then came Opawa Anthony. Trying to get a bit closer as Kiwi Breeze now hooks out three wide as they turn and go. It is Lagoon Bell. After it, Kiwi Breeze on the outside. Lagoon Bell. Kiwi Breeze is closing. Kiwi Breeze beats Lagoon Bell. Opawa Anthony behind those came Nessie Yellen. Then came Corborn Steel. In behind those two, Thoracic. Alongside of that was uh, Opawa Wahimo. And there was one on the outside of that too. Might have been our power peaches last to go by. Roger on his roll, turning around the corner. Set racing. 
Mazoo beaten off the mark by Shift the Blame, who heads for the front over Opawa. Tracy wider out then is Mandy Jr. closing on them quickly. Mazoo's along the fence, gets a rails run and the lead. Back behind those in is Opawa Vale going past that Electra Concord. In behind them is Opawa uh, Tracy, who's drifting back to no worth and no value. Across the top they come. Mazu has the lead. He's out by about three. The chasers are Shift the Blame and Mandy Jr. But Mazu, Mazu too good, will beat Shift the Blame. Mandy Jr. out wide, no worth. Might be the next to go by. The inside of it, Opawa Val Electra Concord. Behind those came Opawa Tracy and no value. Round the turn comes Roger. Kelly said, off. Brilliant beginning. Epic dream straight to the top. Out and after it, Homebush Howard. Wide about Southern Lights goes up three wide. Alan Hadrian's behind those. Then along the fence, the inside to No Jinx. Trying to get around that is Eagle T and Hard Questions. And at the back, a length away is no answer. Down the back, they run match race. Southern Lights, the outside. Epic Dream, the inside. They match motors and Southern Lights hits the lead. They're clear by about three lengths now on a chasing Hard Questions. Alan Hadrian heads the rest. Southern Lights. Have a look at this. Southern Lights is going to brain them. Epic Dream, Hard Questions. Alan Hadrian, fourth. Then on the inside to no answer. It's going to be followed back behind those uh, by uh, No Jinx, uh, Homebush Howard amongst the tail enders, and right with it was Eagle T. Set. Off. Homebush Sloan came out well on the inside. Homebush Rufus over the outside. Scorched the lids as well. Storm Enormous between them. Right behind those on the inside then is uh, Tea Time and Harkin and Bell heads the rest. They come round the turn. Homebush Sloan has the lead here. Homebush Sloan's three in front will beat Harkin and Bale. Homebush Rufus, the fourth one over Storm and Norm. Then came Tea Time, the back lot never in it. Max Sticks, Dinah Quirk, Southern Mist to the outside. And they'll be the last ones to go by. Box one, another fortune closing, set, racing. He's missed it a bit. Wheelchair Norm, another fortune goes straight to the top. Down on the inside, Puma Pants is trying to punch through Wheelchair Norm up in the inside of those. He's got the second. Puma Pants got a bit of a check and back behind those. Then his home will scribe. Round the corner for him, another fortune, but Wheelchair Norm. Wheelchair Norm will beat another fortune. Puma Pants, then home will scribe. Back behind those, then to a power bins. The back lot never in the hunt here. And they are Definer Magic Wizard and No Knowing, and they were never in the hunt.